Um, so I'll talk about the shorter one first. Journey. Uh, Journey was a PS3 exclusive a long time ago, I believe, and it is finally out on like PC. Uh, it was on the Epic Game Store, I think, too, and it had a Steam release fairly recently, uh, maybe a month ago or something. Um, it's a third-person adventure chill game. It is the ultimate chill-out game. Ooh. Um, basically, mm. it's kind of... Uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of what other games I can compare it to. I don't want to say Gree because you're going to get the wrong idea. But... Um, <laughs> D in the chat. Journey is an American rock Journey's band that American formed in San band. Francisco in 1973, composed of former members of Santana and Oh my god, okay. No. No D Laz. Absolutely not. Um but I no, it's a super chill a third person game. Um there's like there's no dialogue whatsoever. Um you just you start off and you're this character in this desert. Um you've got a cool little robe on and a nice little scarf, and it shows this mountain in the distance with a big glowing light on the top of it. And that's where you have to go. That's your journey. And you progress through these areas. Um, some very, very light puzzling. Not a lot of challenging gameplay. Like, it's really chill. I don't want to say walking simulator, but it's definitely somewhere within that vein. Um, it's like a platforming walking simulator. Yeah, like, there, yeah. there's gameplay to but it. There's more, sure. Yeah, there's more to it than what you would normally associate when somebody just says, oh, yeah, it's a walking simulator. Yeah. Like, there's more to it than that. Um, absolutely gorgeous game. I love just being in that world. Um, but the coolest part always... about Journey is the multiplayer. So I went into this game pretty much blind. I don't know how I avoided as much of it as I did. Um, but I knew there was vaguely a multiplayer aspect. I didn't know what it was. So I'm playing the game, and all of a sudden I get to this part, and there's another guy. He looks just like me. And he's kind of following me around, and uh, when I jump, he jumps. And you know, you can kind of... You can sort of tie your abilities together. Like you have this jump that you can use to fly for a short amount of time and kind of float around. Um, and that gets recharged by being close to your companion in multiplayer. So like being right next to the other player, it'll charge up your jump thing. Or um, you can use what's called chime, which is like a, basically you hit the button and it makes a noise. And it's like the only way you can communicate with that person. So there's no text chat, there's no voice chat. Um, it's basically the only multiplayer game I can think of that it's impossible to grief. You can't do anything negative to your your companion. Huh. Um, so yeah, you can you communicate in just these uh, these little chimes, and then you can charge each other's scarf with like a charged chime thing. But yeah, it's super cool because you're just you're going through these areas, and all of a sudden there's another guy, and that's your buddy for that part, and you know you're not alone in your journey or whatever. And I'm sure that that's part of the artistic point of it but you communicate with these little chimes it's like a you know hey there's a, a little charge power up thing over here there's collectibles and you might be We're... going through and your buddy is like hey check this out you didn't know about this here and you go and you say thanks with like a little double chime and i don't know it's just cool were there any wheels in the sky that kept on turning yeah for sure yeah okay God, I, I did not God. stop believing <laughs> at all Okay. Quit I was, it. I was all in. <laughs> don't feed Eric, into listen, the Eric, last If you don't want to play, if you don't want to play it, we can go our separate ways. But <laughs> no, we had to go our separate ways. Then I said, "Hey, motherfucker, who's crying now?" Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. This is why I do this. Yeah. But no. So the so game you... is only like an hour, like two hours long, maybe. Like it's really short. Um. But you can play through it multiple times with different people. And one of my favorite things is at the very end, after the credits, it says companions companions you met along the way. And it shows the names of the players that you encountered in your playthrough. It's pretty cool. That's cool. So um, so I, I went through the first playthrough. Uh, the ending segment was absolutely beautiful and triumphant. And it just made me smile. Like, it's just one of those positive games. There's nothing. It's not like one of those overly sad, depressing you know, indie games that you're used to. It's kind of more positive than that. Um, so I actually played through a second time immediately after I realized how the multiplayer worked. Because the first the first person I ran into, I wasn't sure if it was AI or a person. And then I, oh. I, I went through the whole thing and realized, oh, wait a minute. No, those are actually all real people. It showed the com companions right at the end. So I went through again um, until I got to somebody. 
and they acted completely different than some of the other people I ran into before. Um, they were kind of doing That's their own cool. thing, and he would point out to me a, a collectible I, I missed, so I went over there and thanked him. Uh, there's a There was a point I stopped to go to the bathroom. So you can make your, if you pause the game, your character just kind of sits there. He sits down on the ground. So I went to the bathroom or whatever, got a drink, came back, and the dude was still chilling there waiting for me. Like, it was cool. There's just like that cool That's sense cool. of, uh, I don't know, you got a friend on your way to, on the way to the top of the mountain. One of my favorite parts uh, about Journey is how it, it doesn't like beat you over the head with that. Like there's no instruction that says, hey, play through a second time and go help your other friends. Uh -huh. Like it doesn't do any of this shit, but the gameplay itself and that reveal drives you to just play through again. Let's go through. Let's see what we missed. Let's see who we can help now. Let's, uh, you know, let's be cooperative. And it's it's honestly one of the few games that I've seen that doesn't give explicit directions, but through the design itself, it makes you do exactly what the designers wanted you to do and learn the lessons that the designers exactly wanted you to learn. It's really cool. It's it's quite literally a masterclass in game design subtlety and how to control player behavior. Yeah, for sure. 